Now, this isn't next gen trailer, this is current gen trailer, so don't get that confused out there. I'm not going to react to this, I'm not going to show you guys the trailer because I'm pretty sure you guys already seen it already. But I do want to talk about a few things that I seen in this trailer that I'm concerned about, questions about, and wondering about. First thing I want to talk about is the shot meter. For one, I don't I don't know why they changed the shot meter every year. Like we asked for it, you know, they went from 2K17, they went to 2K18, 2K19, you know what I'm saying? And every year they mess with the shot meter. I don't know why. Y'all let me know down in the comments what shot meter is your favorite from 2K15 to 2K20. But in terms of this shot meter right here, I'm the type of player that I shoot off Q like I shoot off visual, you know what I'm saying, animation. So I look at the hands when I'm shooting the ball. With this shot meter being right here, this is in the way of me visually trying to look at my shot. I don't want the shot meter nowhere near my player's shot animation. Let me know if you agree with that down low in the comments. Uh, I'm not feeling this shot meter, but as well as I'm seeing in this shot meter, is it's giving us the green light window to visually look at. So if you don't know what I mean, if you pay attention to the black bar, the black bar is pretty much just a regular shot meter. Now, where it's kind of like tan right here, this is your green light window. So you pretty much have to stop the bar within that space to get a green light. Pretty much helping players be able to shoot greens better. In my opinion, um, I'm gonna shoot no meter either way, if that's the case. Uh, I don't care if they wanna cater to to helping people get better at the game by giving them a visual look at their green light window. But I do not want my shot meter to be over my head. So hopefully there's an option for that. Um, I don't know why they would add that in there. Maybe maybe that'd be a special green light window meter. You know what I'm saying? That you can put on and then they'll still keep the regular 2K19, 2K20 meter. You know what I'm saying? 2K18, 2K17 meter and so on so on now like i said i did want to stop and talk about that meter because that was the biggest thing that caught my eye when this trailer first started now i know a lot of people are still asking about anime uh, affiliations and wondering if we're going to be able to do travel to park and things like that another thing that caught my eye was this neighborhood Forgot to pause that music too. Uh, where is it at? Oh, that's right here. All right, so you see, you got the neighborhood, then you got the 2K Beach, you got the 2K Shoe Store, you got the Rec Center. But what I do want to point out is that it looks like an alleyway. You know, you got the Rec Center on the right side, you got the 2K Shoe Store on the left side, and we all know the Rec Center and the 2K Shoe Store was nowhere near each other on 2K20. Or on 2K19. So this is pretty much, and then you got the 2K B sign right here, which pretty much means the stores will be before the courts. Which pretty much is going to say that we're going to have like a different type of uh, scene on 2K20. And then, I mean, not on 2K20, but on current gen 2K21. And then on next gen 2K21, we'll probably get like some similar look like this, but it might be updated or newer. But I do want to say like it's confirmed that we're not going to get the same type of setting that we had on 2K19 and 2K20, which is a dub, but uh, my only concern is that they're going back to how the 2K18 neighborhood was set up, which means um, you have to load in to the parks, into the courts, and then you got to load out of the courts to go to the stores, and I didn't like that. I like how 2K19 and 2K20 is set up. Where you could just run off the court, go into the Gatorade, and you ain't got to load out, load in, things like that. Another thing they did say is loading times will be like one second, but we'll see when the game drops. But like I said, you got the 2KB sign, you pretty much probably walk under that and go into the courts. Which pretty much, like I said, is telling us we're going to have a different type of scene, environment on 2K21 current gen. And then we're going to have to wait to see what type of hints we get for 2K21 next gen. Now, another thing I did want to talk about was Trey Young in this trailer. He did behind the back. Um, everybody 
was mad when behind the back left, which kind of got me thinking Mike Wayne was like, hey, let's just put it back in there. Bro, where's this Trey Young clip at? Oh, here, go right here. I think, I think go right here. All right, so Trey Young does behind the back right here. Boom. So I'm wondering, and then park handles. Oh my God. Hopefully, hopefully Mike Wayne fixes the park handles this year because this is park handles right here. <laughs> hopefully he fixes the park handles this year to where we can activate them in a different way because that's park handles. And I, everybody hated how park handles was activated this year. But like, then you got the Kobe size up coming in, in once again. They look a little bit better though right there than how it is on 2K20. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, rest in peace to the bean. But I am looking like how that Kobe size up looks. Well, let me try and slow it down a little bit more for that. Go 1.25. 1, 1, Look at that Kobe size up in 0. 0.25. Yeah. Y'all know I didn't use Kobe size up like that this year. Let me know down in the comments if you was a Kobe size up user. You know what I'm saying? Kobe dunks. But, um. That's all I pretty much want to talk about on this trailer, y'all. I really didn't want to react to it because, like I said, y'all pretty much already seen it and things like that. Um, we do got, like, they trying to hint at, like, different areas you can potentially maybe travel to. But we all know in 2K20, we had the option to travel. Um, and we ended up just playing different NBA players in, in their, their hometowns or where they came from. Oh, another thing I want to talk about, Yeezys. Yeezys, we got them Yeezys, though. You know, see, so you got ruffles in the background. We all know they're gonna keep bringing that ruffles back, and then everybody got to remember though they they advertise ruffles anyway in the NBA. So ruffles will always be a part of 2K, pretty much. And they'll probably always do ruffles tournament. But where them Yeezys at though? Where them Yeezys? Dang, bro, they, this that fast into it? Where them Yeezys at though? They're them Yeezys. Yeah, okay, so Nike Yeezys will be in the game. Of course, we probably ain't gonna get Adidas Yeezys. Kanye probably like, nah, you ain't getting them Adidas Yeezys. But it look like we got Nike Yeezys coming into the game. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully we can wear them in park. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the Nike Yeezys, uh, to be honest. So, not a big much hype for me. And we got them Yeezys. We gonna see though if we got them Yeezys though. Uh, other than that, that's everything i pretty much want to talk about in the trailer i don't think i see any look at this block though oh my god look at the wingspan on that block yeah, that's the only thing i want to talk about on this trailer man look at that block oh my bogdanovich what are you doing yeah that's the only thing i want to talk about on this trailer uh we waiting on more 2K21 news. Hopefully the prelude comes soon, y'all. Then we're going to be back on this channel heavily. If you guys have not been on the second channel, the Poor Boy Sam Plays channel, and you like my team gameplay, I got a lot, a lot of my team videos uploaded on the Poor Boy Sam Plays channel. So go check it out. Link is in the description. Um, y'all be easy. Stay Look at the Jay Crawford crossover. I forgot. We got the Jay Craw Crawford crossover. You know what I'm saying? Let me throw that in 0.25. Uh, hopefully we get more 2k21 news soon so I get back on the main channel for y'all I didn't want to oversaturate you guys with 2k20 content um, I do plan on doing uh, like a couple of 2k20 montages to end of the year off though But I appreciate y'all for being patient with me though still rocking here on the channel uh, 2k21 is coming soon storm is coming flood is coming Y'all be easy stay blessed I'm gonna catch up with y'all on the next one I'm gone one